A Minnesota family is in shock after a demonstration at a Citizens Police Academy went terribly wrong. A Florida police officer accidentally shot 73-year-old Mary Knowlton during a Citizens Academy class last night. She had lived in Minnesota until retiring a few years ago. She was a very humble person, but you knew she was heads and shoulders above the rest of them. Just an incredibly strong woman. Her son Steve said that she took the class to learn more about personal safety. Knowlton volunteered to participate in a shoot don't shoot scenario when she was hit with a real bullet. The chief called it a horrific accident, saying that Knowlton was a phenomenal person who he knew well. Bill Hudson joins us now with more on what happened and how friends are remembering her. This is terrible. Oh, absolutely yes. unbelievable. Why did a live round yeah. get in that class? Yeah. That's what everybody wants to know. Now, the folks we spoke with today, they're in complete shock, of course, recalling a woman who was classy and caring. She loved playing bridge almost as much as helping young kids read. Now, everyone wants to know how a gun used solely for demonstration was loaded with a live round. Police departments, large and small, hold citizens' academies to build support and connect with communities. But what happened last night in Florida has shaken it to the core. During the first scenario, in a horrible accident, participant Mary Knowlton was mistakenly struck with a live round. Police can't yet explain why the revolver used only for the academy was loaded. Knowlton volunteered for the shoot, don't shoot scenario in front of the class of 35. We believe that the particular caliber of the weapon used, um, that there were only blank rounds uh, available to the officer. Knowlton grew up in Minnesota and retired to Florida with her husband. She was a incredible woman. Son Stephen said his mother was always involved in community and excited to learn more about policing. We'd had a number of break-ins around here, so it was just one of those things to support him and then figure out how to you know, take care of yourself. Knowlton was a media specialist at Parkview Elementary in Rosemount for many years. She was kind of the pillar of our building. This and Principal school, Nicole Frovix, mentor, a librarian who shared the love of reading and helping others. She took a lot of pride in making sure that this was a place of gathering and a place where people would come together and, and learn about kids and help kids and learn about how we could be better teachers and have resources that we could use and just a, a strong compassion for people. I just wish I had one more day with her and uh, we just never planned for something like this. This tragedy was traumatic to everyone, of course, but especially to the 34 other citizens who witnessed the shooting. Florida State Police are launching a full, complete investigation and counseling has been offered to not only the officer who's on leave, but of course, all others involved in this horrible, horrible it event. It really is. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Bill. Sure thing.